India versus Canada row that continues over Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar's murder. India today has now accessed Khalistani terrorist Nijjar's dossier. This dossier exposes Canadian government's claims and reveals that Nijjar played indeed an active role in spotting, networking, training, financing Khalistani terror module members. In fact, he's organized arms training camps in Canada as well, where he trained Khalistani terrorists with AK-47s, sniper rifles and pistols. Nijjar sent Khalistani terrorists to India to carry out targeted killings. Political and religious figures were on Nijjar's target. He's also met with Babar Khalsa chief. Jaktar Singh Tara in Pakistan, where they jointly held talks to operate terror activities in India. Jaktar Singh Tara and ISI helped Nijar in strengthening terror groups, Khalistan Tiger Force, and organized a targeted attack in Punjab as well. These are the prima facie details that surfaced of Nijar. We are outside slaying terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar's residence. Uh, there is a big lock out here and there is a big NIA poster out here. Uh, this is house number 171. What we know is this entire house is secluded. Uh, at this point of time, very few people walking by. Uh, but there is this NIA poster which talks about uh, this property being confiscated. Now, this is an area uh, where he has left way back in 1996. Uh, some of his relatives have been coming here, but the fact remains uh, that the family has been far, far away in Canada uh, for several decades now. We've seen a crack down, whether it is on terrorism, on Khalistani extremists. Uh, this is a way where there have been attachments done. Uh, meanwhile, there have also been an att uh, attempt for confiscation being done. Uh, this is to contain and uh, not just uh, uh, those who have been operating out of Pakistan and from the Western countries, uh, but also uh, that there has to be a heavy price to pay when they indulge in terrorism or anti-India activity. With camera person Chandi Ram, this is Kamaljeet Sandhu in Bhar Singhpura for India Today. Now, tightening its noose around Canada-based designated individual terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Panno. The NIA has now confiscated his house and land of that self-styled general counsel of the outlawed Sikhs for Justice outfit in Amritsar and Chandigarh. Let's have a quick look at this ground report. Sikh for Justice ke band sangathan aur atanki Gurpan Singh Pannu ke ghar par एनआईए की टीम पहुंची हुई है चंडीगढ़ पुलिस यहां पर मौजूद है और बाकायदा इस पर बोर्ड लगाया गया है अंग्रेजी में और पंजाबी में जिस पर लिखा हुआ है शेयर ऑफ हाउस नंबर 2033 सेक्टर 15 सी चंडीगढ़ ओन बाय गुरपंत सिंह पन्नू ए प्रोक्लेम्ड ऑफेंडर इन एनआईए केस रजिस्टर्ड नंबर ये यानी कि अब गुरपंत सिंह पन्नू का इस कोठी में जो हिस्सा है जिसे 2020 में अटैच किया गया था अब उसको एनआईए की टीम ने बाकायदा जब्त कर लिया है इसका मतलब ये है कि अब इस कोठी पर आतंकी गुरपंत सिंह पन्नू का कोई भी अधिकार नहीं रह पाएगा ना तो वो इस कोठी में आ सकता है ना यहाँ पर रह सकता है और ना ही इस कोठी को खरीद या बेच सकता है यानी कि गुरपंत सिंह पन्नू के जितने भी इस प्रॉपर्टी से जुड़े हुए अधिकार थे वो सब खत्म हो गए हैं एनआईए के अधिकारी यहां पर पहुंचे हुए हैं आप देख सकते हैं और किस तरीके से बाकायदा यहां पर बोर्ड लगाया गया है और यहां पर आप देख सकते हैं बाकायदा चंडीगढ़ पुलिस की टीमें भी पहुंची हुई हैं और एनआईए के तमाम अधिकारी यहां पर मौजूद है और इस कोठी पर अब गुरपंत सिंह पन्नू का किसी तरह का कोई अधिकार नहीं रह जाएगा I'm cutting across to Kamaljeet Sandhu, joining us live for more on that. Kamaljeet, uh, we know that the residents and homes of Nijar and Pannu have been there uh, for, for decades. Family members are probably there, but they aren't. What prompted the authorities to, at this point, when uh, we're seeing a strained relationship with Canada, uh, at this point to confiscate their homes? Tell us the intention behind it and what have they found? Uh, see, the process began long time back in 2020 is the first time uh, that the attachment was done. The attachment now basically means uh, that they cannot sell the property. But what has happened today with Gurupat Wan Singh Pannu, who's Canada-based now, is uh, that, that uh, his property has been confiscated. Uh, so in both in Chandigarh and Amritsar, where his properties are, in Chandigarh, it is, uh, uh, he's sharing that residence with four other people. So his portion has been confiscated. In Amritsar, uh, we know there 
are 147 canals. 46 of that belongs to uh, Gurpat Singh Pannu. Uh, today, the revenue officials were called by the NIA and they demarketed that particular land. Now, what really that means is uh, that Gurpat Singh Pannu is no longer the holder of the property. It's the government of India. Now, this is a larger part of the crackdown and this is the first time uh, that an absconding accused where uh, the properties have been seized under Section uh, 33 uh, slash five of the UAPA. So in a way, there is a crackdown on the Khalistani extremists, especially those who've been propagating hate against India outside. Now, Gurpatwan Singh uh, Pannu has been utilizing social media. Uh, he's been heavily trying to recruit through uh, social media handles. Uh, there have been threats coming into uh, several of the Indian diplomats based in Canada. So all this has actually been a part of the dossier. But meanwhile, it seems that India uh, or the Indian government as well as the authorities don't want to take any chance. And that is why the crackdown is what we see. Uh, so the posters were put up earlier. Uh, this is also to signify uh, that uh, when they actually go to the particular place and put those posters, uh, the, the person can actually go to the court of law and signify, but we haven't seen that happening. And we've been told that after Gurpatwan Singh Pannu's uh, property is being confiscated, uh, the next term will be that of slain uh, KTF uh, operative and chief, uh, that is Hardeep Singh Nijjar, after whose death a huge controversy has blown up between India and Canada. So all this is really happening at a crucial point of time, uh, but NI being the uh, counter-terror uh, uh, investigating agency, uh, they have now put up all posters and obviously demarketing that particular area, which now no longer belongs to Gurpatwan Singh Pannu. Kamaji, thank you very much for joining us on that. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters, it's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.